You looking for a delicious barbecue chicken recipe? Check out these barbecue chicken sliders. Hey, what's up, barbecue family? You looking for an easy recipe to do this month using chicken? So we've got an easy one for you. Barbecue chicken sliders. Let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna glove up. Shout out to everybody watching. Love y'all and thank y'all. Shout out to YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for us. Subscribe to our channel. Check out our videos. We're gonna start out with about two pounds of chicken cutlets, chicken fingers, or sliced up chicken breast. We've got these chicken cutlets here, AKA sliced up chicken breasts. Uh, you could also use uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You could also use leftover chicken for this recipe. First thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna season these bad, boy, bad boys up with that Ron Screaming Pig Rub and the Chef Greg's Four Letter Rub. Both available in that rub and sauce bundle. You can be heavy handed, it's okay everybody. These two rubs are gonna give us some great barbecue flavor. Take our gloved up hands. We'll mix everything up in our bowl, making sure all of that season, it's all sides. Take one of our gloves off and we'll hit it one more time. Get some more seasoning. Let these taste delicious. All right. You thought seasoning up this chicken was easy? Man, this grill is gonna make it even easier for us. We're gonna cook this on the Patio Legend from Rectech today. We're gonna evenly place these on the cooking grate here. And the reason why we chose uh, Rectech is because we want even consistent temperatures today. We don't want those temperatures fluctuating all over the board like a gas or a charcoal grill would do for us. We decided to use the Patio Legend from Rectech pellet grills hold that perfect temperature to cook this meat to perfection, okay? We don't want fluctuations in temperature like all the other grills. All right, we'll come back in about 15 minutes to check the internal temperature of these bad boys. Now that those chicken cutlets are cooking on our patio legend, now is a good time to get that bread ready. That's right, you can't do um, barbecue chicken sliders without some slider buns, am I right? Shout out to King's Hawaiian, they make the best. In my, perp, in my opinion, that really doesn't matter to anybody. I'm not gonna cut them in half this way, everybody, or this way, okay? We're gonna come in from the sideways, okay? So you take your a knife that's longer than your bread, place it right there in the center, and just start slicing. Just be careful. You don't wanna slice your finger off, but you wanna make sure that you get good, even, breadage as well okay because you don't want you know the bottom to be bigger than the top or vice versa okay so we're going to place the bottom buns in our aluminum pan you can use a 9 by 13 baking dish if you'd like i just like using those disposable pans so i can throw them away afterwards i'm going to grease that bad boy up with some cooking spray i'm going to place our bottom in the pan just like that okay we're going to set that off to the side and we'll come right back to it okay now what we got to do is we need to cut up our onion. Just cut our onion up in thin slices. Because again, you don't want it to be, these are raw red onions. They can be a little overpowering. All right, I've got some freshly shredded, <laughs> freshly shredded Colby Jack here. Uh, make sure you freshly shred your cheese, everybody. Because when you buy it, at the store already shredded, it's gonna have some anti-caking agents in it, um, and it's gonna let, make it less ooey and gooey, okay? We've also got a little bit of cilantro over here. We're gonna top this bad boy, uh, this delicious sandwich with some cilantro as well. So let's go here, over here and check on these chicken cutlets. All right. Ooh, these things look nice and juicy. These have been cooking for about 20 to 25 minutes. We know that they are cooked, because we used our temperature probe here, right there. Over 165, over 165, we're good to go. New clean bowl, clean tongs. Remember, you don't want to cross contaminate. You can also cook these chicken on the grill grate that would fit on the patio legend as well. Check out that bad boy. Crustification, caramelization. 
juiciness. All right, now these things are over 165 degrees, pretty close to the temperature of lava. So you wanna make sure you wanna wait about five to 10 minutes to let these cool down. For me, I ain't got no time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some insulated cooking gloves here. I will don my nitrog gloves on top of those, creating a heat barrier that will allow me to pull the, this chicken with my hands, pull it barehanded, like a man, like a grown up, like an adult, like a grill master, okay? So again, we're gonna go in there and we're not gonna act all crazy, okay? There is a science to pulling your chicken and your pork, okay? You don't wanna get in there Go all willy-nilly and turn this into meat gravy, okay? You just want to pull the stuff apart, literally pulling it apart. All right, we didn't turn this into chicken mush, just pulled barbecue chicken right now, okay? We could add sauce, but I'm a huge fan of seasoning it right now. Again, with the Ron Screaming Pig Rub and the Chef Greg's Four Letter Rub while it's still in that bowl while it's still hot. Because again, there's no way for you to season the inside of that chicken, right? And we'll just toss it one more time, okay? And we'll set, we'll go back and we'll grab our already prepared bottom bun, okay? Now at this point, yes, you can go ahead and add the barbecue sauce to your chicken. If you'd like, and just go ahead and toss your chicken me, I don't like each and every piece of chicken covered in barbecue sauce, okay? Uh, so I just pour it on top lightly. So take, and this is about, again, two pounds of shredded chicken. Makes the perfect pulled chicken slider with the 12 pack of King's Hawaiian Rolls. Anything extra goes right in that bowl, okay? Take our Harry's Secret Sweet Sauce. This stuff is so good, y'all. Shout out to my good buddy, Harry. He was like the third employee hired here at RecTech. Again, we use those ultimate blend pellets. Give us a good flavor of red oak, white oak, and hickory. And you can see there, you got some good barbecue coverage, barbecue sauce coverage. But not every piece of chicken is slathered in that barbecue, okay? All right, now we're gonna need to melt some butter. All right, now that we've got that butter melting, uh, we're gonna come back to our sliders. Uh, we're gonna top it with our delicious red onions, okay? Remember we cut these nice and thin. If you want them thicker, ladies and gentlemen, you can cut them thicker. When you spread them on, you spread them on nice and even. So we've got a freshly shredded cheese, about a cup and a half of freshly shredded Colby Jack. Give us some nice pop, it'll accentuate that barbecue flavor. Pour it all on there, everybody. Don't be afraid of it, okay? We'll slide that top bun on there. Again, chef tip, you guys wanna go ahead and cut the top and bottom buns individually. They will come out much, much easier in the end, giving you that Instagram moment, okay? All right, got enough melted butter there to spread some love on top. This is a crucial step to giving you those, those beautiful golden brown buns that everybody's looking for. We're gonna return these bad boys to the patio legend for about 15 minutes until those buns get nice and beautiful and golden and brown. They look good. Man, do these look absolutely amazing. I went ahead and cut these up individually so they would be much, much easier to get out of the pan. Oh uh, man, but you gotta drizzle just a little bit. Crap, ah! I'm gonna use this knife to cut up a little bit of cilantro. It's not the best knife to do that, everybody. But uh, that's what we're gonna use right now. Hashtag Rectech Lifestyle. We'll just Put a little bit of cilantro on top for a garnish just to give us a little bit of color. 
absolutely looks so good. You can also make sure that pan is not hot, but hit them again with a little bit of butter. Make them nice and shiny for your Instagram or YouTube pictures. Mm. Throw a little bit more cilantro on there. Check it out, Josh. Hey, want to see more fun cooking videos just like this one? Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the RecTech channel, and hit that bell notification. That way you know when we post new stuff. Make sure you follow RecTech on all social media, and we'll see you at the RecTech.